according to the Paradisus Parid, who during the hot summer months was often left out to sun himself through the bars of his cage. The Paradis woman was an absolute cunt, and the Paradis man was a cock-sucking bastard. Although the parrot was never very adept at doing their voices, it was always clear to those within earshot which of the two was supposed to be speaking. Bastard, you bastard, the best years of my life. Gone, all gone, the parrot would say, for example. And then without pause, respond to himself, bitch, you cunt, get off me, get off me. The Paradises, both well-known drunks, fought often and long and, as is always the case with such miserable couples, repetitively. In a word, ideal conditions, according to experts, for a pet such as theirs to learn a new language. Bastard, you bastard. The parrot's renditions were so annoyingly constant as to become background noise that we all tended to ignore. And so when the parody's woman at long last made good on her perennial threat to shoot off what her husband had called his family jewels, the cops were not called. In fact, it wasn't until the Paradis woman, by then blackout drunk, had wrapped their car, an old DeSoto, around a large elm on the way to the hospital, that she was arrested. How on earth they made it as far as they had, as drunk as she was, the cops didn't know. But they took her away and sobered her up and charged her with, amongst other things, reckless endangerment, but not the gunshot. Her husband, of course, was brought to the hospital where the nurses on staff did the best job they could with what they all knew could not have been caused by anything but an old 22. When later that week the Paradis woman was released from jail, she picked up her husband, who by then was much better and, quote, jonesing a beer. They drove home in silence, both being unsure of what exactly had happened and hoping their parrot would fill them, fill them in but their parrot provided no insight whatsoever, he having been mauled out in their backyard through the bars of his cage by a neighborhood cat. 